Hey guys, Max Soapy Queen here, and welcome back to the PVE quest line. Um, we are going to be doing the next one in the, the lineup. We are pretty close to being finished. We are really close, so we're getting all the pieces together. We pretty much know what we have now. It's obviously a skull of some sort. Um, and I did find out a little bit of, I mean, I don't know if it's called spoilers or not, but it's more or less like some info on what exactly we are finding. Uh, but I won't spoil it, obviously, for anyone who does not know. Um, so we're going to be returning to Skulltown in this one. Mirage is going to set this one out. So we're back in Skulltown. Want to blow this one up too while you're at it, Loba? <laughs> um, and here we go. So I decided to pick Lifeline for this one. Now, first things first, I should mention that this is probably maybe my third time going through this thing. I don't know why I have so much trouble with these PvE quest lines. Ah, they just, I don't know. I just have so much trouble with them. All right, so the main goal basically, as always, is to get through and get to the, uh, find the hidden artifact piece dig it up and then after you dig it up of course you gotta go and get onto the drop ship and head back home so i chose lifeline for this one now i was originally going to play through as watson because uh, i believe in the last part of the story that we were reading through we were talking about how uh we thought like um crypto was the mole uh and so we, he was working with Watson, and uh, they were working with Hack, his drone, which got unfortunately taken over by um, Revenant. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I should do it with Watson because I I haven't, I haven't actually tried going through here um, with the uh, what you call it with the the fences, Watson fences. I don't know how the prowlers will do with the Watson fences uh, so I wanted to go through doing that but then I went through it and I figured out that the prowlers are actually a lot smarter than we give them credit for <laughs> because they just took out the Watson fences literally just like that so it wasn't useful like they got hit with the fences but it didn't really do much uh, to them, so I just decided to not go as Watson, and I figured I needed to go as Lifeline again because uh, obviously having the drone to be able to heal me is very helpful. So I went with Lifeline. Um, I was thinking either Lifeline or Wraith, but you know I've I've been doing these uh, these same characters like the entire time, and I want to try to mix it up and use different ones each time I go through, but. It just always happens to be too hard for me. I don't know why, it just does. Uh, so we've found the hidden artifact piece. We've also found a gold devotion as well. Um, so now we have to do the waiting game, of course. Waiting forever for the hidden artifact piece to actually be dug up. I swear, it takes longer and longer each time we get a, pa a piece to dig it up. I don't know why that is. Uh, so I'm going to do what I what I do best and cower in the corner and just kill the prowlers as they come towards me and hope that they don't kill me before I make it to the ship. Um, so really wish after playing through a bunch of these missions that they would have either made it so that we could do all of this in one go and make it just like a whole PVE side quest thing that um, is now available in the game that you can do instead of making it like a day or like a weekly thing or whatever and making it all the same it's it's very frustrating that it's basically the same thing every time but i get it we're supposed to go through and we're supposed to find a artifact piece we're supposed to dig it up and bring it back and put it together so i don't know it's just it seems like they could have done something a little bit different each time but either way, this ship is here, and we gotta hustle to get to the ship, because we only have one minute left to get there. Um, and of course, we have to avoid the prowlers. Once again, the shadow prowlers, though. So I tried to go through by just punching them, 
uh, because it said, you know, use your melee attack to just get away from them and punch them back and stuff and kill them. Uh, but then I realized that they were doing way too much damage to me. <laughs> so, I just thought, you know what, I'm out of here. I am not worrying about those prowlers. I'm just shooting them with my devo devotion and my R301 and I am leaving this place. So we managed to get through unscathed. Well, not really unscathed, but we did manage to get through the mission, thankfully. You didn't have to see me go through it a million times and fail over and over again, like always, but we did make it through this time. So let us see what we have achieved and what we have got from this. So we recovered the pieces, of course, we record, uh, recovered the uh, this thing, the little crystal as well, a pink one, which I love. Very pretty color. And we also got the Idacom's frame, responsible for any and all communication with the external world, including vocalization and wireless send and receive. As limited spectrum auditory mic, likely as failsafe backup confirmation for more capable hardware. All right, so that is what we received. And we have also received, of course, uh, chapter seven, the Shattered Spirit, which we are going to be uh, reading through right now, actually. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that. I did record me reading through it, but you guys know how that goes. Normally I read through things a little too fast in my head, and then when I go to read them uh, in the recordings, it goes too fast, so we'll do this one live. And hopefully um, the audio won't be too loud. I know sometimes when we read through these, it's kind of loud, so I'll turn it down a little bit and we'll see how it does. Um, all right, when it was just me and Papa, he taught me about everything from currents and conductors to protons and electrons. So obviously we're gonna be reading through this as Watson. But he never taught me about betrayal. He once said the world could be cold and harsh, and I thought I understood what he meant by that. I realize now there's a lot more to learn about the world. You think I'm spying for Revenant? You're telling me there's someone else out there who can hack your drone? I... I don't know. There might be a way to hack into... Hack. You named your unhackable drone hack? Come on, amigo. You're asking for it. We can discuss how bad I am at naming things later. Watson, I'm not an idiot. If I was the mole, why would I make it so obvious? He does have a point. Using his own drone would be foolish if he was the mole. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Maybe I have something... No, I don't. Okay. A convenient argument. Brilliant, in fact. Make it so obvious you're being framed. That your name is immediately rec removed from the equation. It's marvelous. As fingers continue to point, Grace Porto opens. Mirage, Wraith, and Pathfinder return from their mission. Who wants a Lalcom uh, path? What's this thing again? An Idiocom's frame. I have one and it helps me talk to you. Who wants a big mouth? Hey, you guys look super serious. What's going on? Crypto here was just about to explain why he's been spying on us for Revenant. Or Revenant. Mirage looks from Bangalore to Crypto and bursts into hysterical laughter. <laughs> this guy, he's a lot of things, but a spy for the murder bot? Give me a break. You're defending him? I thought you hated him. Hated who? The kid or the robot? Fine. If I have to choose, the robot has the lead, but only by a hair. Yay me! <laughs> uh, not you, Tin Can. The other robot I hate. Crypto's not the supervillain. He's just a 20-something pain in my butt. Uh, a dirty one. A 30-something pain in my- Wait, hold on a second. You're a year older than me, and you call me an old man? I don't really think that's important right now. Yeah, scratch that. He's totally a spy. This is crazy. Why would I help him? What can I possibly gain? The Syndicate. Crypto's face goes white as a sheet. Dr. Caustic is onto something. 
You want to destroy them for reasons that are your own. Revenant wants revenge on his former employers. It makes perfect sense for the two of you to pool your resources. You're the brains, he's the brawn. Together, you'll bring the mercenary syndicate to its knees. You just need the artifact to do it. You have no intention of giving it to Hammond. You're keeping its power for yourself. It all makes perfect sense. You can hear a pen drop, and then Crypto says, in a low whisper, Honey, it's you. Pardon me? You've been preparing that speech. It's you who is the spy. I looked to Dr. Caustic, and I know he has issues with other human beings, but this seems like far too complex a web to spin. And for what purpose? Caustic sighs. I don't need preparation to verbally spar with you. I admire your attempt to circum circumvention, but it's too late for a bid so desperate. I have no motive and no reason to frame you. Uh, so what do, what do uh, we do to spies, huh? I've got some ideas, but first we're going to need a pumpkin. There's nothing to do. Revenant knows everything, and he's coming for me. Nothing changes that. If you leave now, you can get off planet before nightfall. You actually think I'll get that far? He's probably already at my ship, waiting for me in the shadows. Time to see if all my training is worth a dang. Loba starts to leave, but Bangalore stops her. Hey, hold up. You're not seriously going to act as if this wasn't what you wanted all along. I don't want you dead. This whole plan went sideways. Well, we don't always get what we plan for, do we? Don't worry too much. I'd hate to see you lose sleep over sacrificing one of your own for greater good, Sergeant. She tosses her bracelet out the window, and with the literal flash, she's gone. Uh, okay, so should I go get the pumpkin? No, yes. Watson, Natalie, please, I would never. You have overestimated your own intelligence. She is not falling for your tricks. My tricks? Brothers, I think we can talk this out. But no more fighting. I don't care who did it. I just, I just want to go somewhere quiet. I'll take you nap. Thank you, Wraith. Wraith, please. We'll sort this out. You have my word. But for now, she asked for space. Crypto nods and steps back to let us pass. He looks at me with pleading eyes and I don't make eye contact, but I can feel, I can still feel him looking at me. Reed leads me out, and I think how lucky I am to have a friend like her. Not everyone is who they seem. I trusted somebody I shouldn't have, but I don't know who. The world is cold and harsh indeed, Papa. I should have listened, but now I know. It's a lesson I'll never forget. Alrighty! So that is going to be it for the chapter. So next we have the Unwavering Protector. Um, which will be, I think, yes, the, should be the second to last piece. And then we will only need to get one more piece and we will be unlocking the, I'm guessing this is the epilogue, right? Is the epilogue what comes after the prologue? I think it is. Uh, but as you can see, we have fully crafted here a, uh, a skull of some sort. So... We're looking at something. I guess we're waiting to get the missing like mouthpiece and like the uh, the eye pieces because I don't know what else we could actually get with these last two because all of this stuff here is definitely uh, looking like a skull to me, which we know that Revenant was created by him in robotics. Um, so whoever this is is probably created by him in robotics as well, but. I think that's going to do it for this uh, PvE episode. So next time we will be going through the next one, which will be available in four days and three hours. Um, but we're pretty far uh, so far. So 
we're in this we're in this to win this apparently and we are almost there so that's going to do it for this one uh but i will see you guys in the next one where we will go on another mission find another hidden artifact piece and unlock another part of the story so i will see you guys next time